Hey there, it's me, Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl, and I am here live in my kitchen. Can you tell? I bet you recognize it if you have been here before, because I've been going live a lot. We have one viewer right now. Two viewers. Is Laura, am I live on the Hungry Girl page? Okay, I have eight viewers. <laughs> Um, hey, no, Lauren, you were not first today. Michelle, you were first today. Welcome. Good to see you guys. We are here in my kitchen. Tonight, um, as promised, I have something a little bit different. I am not doing a recipe demo, but get excited because I'm going to tell you about all the things you need or some of the things that I have that you might want to keep in your house, in your kitchen, in your pantry to help you make great, fast, easy, healthy, delicious meals and snacks. So the goal tonight is to just share with you this pile of who knows what that's in front of me. Honestly, I have no rhyme or reason like to how I'm gonna approach this. I just grabbed all the things that I like the most out of my freezer, my fridge, my pantry, and I wanna share them with you. Hey, Jenny. Hi. Hey, Dawn. Hi, Mary. Hey, Betsy. Okay, I'm glad you're all here because I am excited to be here. Also, tonight, I'm going to give away two things. I'm giving away a copy of... By the way, I'm backwards again, and don't be mad at me because I flipped the camera around. I got used to it. I liked it, and now Facebook has a glitch where when you flip the camera and you see everything straight, you get, like, elongated. So I look like Beaker from the Muppets. <laughs> Do you know Beaker from the Muppets? He's got a very, he's like a test tube guy. Anyway, I, I have to flip it. So my book is going to look like, Okay, Simply Six. I am giving away Simply Six tonight. This is a copy of the latest Hungry Girl cookbook. This is my newest of all Hungry Girl cookbooks. I haven't talked about it much during the quarantine. I don't know why, because this cookbook rocks. It will rock your face off. It's so easy. Six main ingredients or fewer in every recipe in this book. I'm also giving away Hungry Girl Measuring Spoons, two prizes tonight. If you want to win, you have to click love or like, and you have to comment. So comments could be anything from, hey, Lisa, cute shirt, or hey, Lisa, I want the measuring spoons, or hey, Lisa, I want your book, or hey, Lisa, this is my favorite pantry staple. So you could tell me what your favorite pantry staple is or your fridge staple. Okay, we are gonna dive right in because today I wanna share with you things that you really should have around the house. I'm gonna start with something I like to call meal starters. So for me, a meal starter is something that's gonna like bulk up your meal, make you feel full, make you feel good about eating it. And it has, in my world, a lot to do with vegetables. So if you, remember I showed you my, my drink mix drawer the other day, by the way? My same obsession applies to the Green Giant riced and spiralized veggies. So. There's beets, there's carrots, there's zucchini, there's all kinds of items. I know they look backwards, um, but this is something that will change your life because the truth of the matter is four servings in this bag, to me it's really one serving or two, 15 calories each. So it's like 60 calories a bag. So if you think about it, you throw these in the microwave or a skillet, you've got a pile of either riced veggies or spiralized veggies that can bulk up your meal and make all the difference in the world. Then you just add a lean protein and a sauce, some great delicious spices, and you have got a meal that will make everybody happy. So Green Giant, I always, I've said this before, they're like the MVPs of the quarantine. Fill your freezer with these or other options. I always have a nice vegetable medley because again, you can't go wrong. There are so many things you can do with this. You can throw this into broth and add a little chicken and you have a chicken soup. You could add noodles to this. This is just like mixed veggies. It's so good. I'm reading all your comments. There's a lot of fun things you're saying. I love you guys, truly. So again, frozen veggies because they last for months in the freezer. Yes, I love fresh produce. Yes, fresh produce is a, is a great thing to have on hand, but frozen, I mean, how can you go wrong? All right, now, another thing, talking about fresh, this is another meal starter. I have used up all my bags of broccoli slaw. I'm gonna tell you a sad story. I ordered two new bags of broccoli slaw from Instacart. They showed up, they were expired the day before. I almost started to cry, but luckily I had slaw. So this was just regular coleslaw mix 
and I like to steam or cook it and just keep it cooked in the fridge and I use it to bulk my meals up. So it's a great thing. I have to tell you, and so it's usually broccoli slaw, this is just coleslaw, but I've cooked it, and if I am making anything and I wanna bulk it up, that's what I do. So, you know I love the veggies, but sometimes you want something, well, oh wait, before I leave the veggies. Palmini, who here, raise your hand, raise your keyboard, raise your foot, if you've tried Palmini. Lauren, do you know Palmini? Yeah, I love it. Lauren loves Palmini. If you love right. Palmini, hearts, hearts for the Palmini. It is, it is like, she just said it's like pasta. It's heart to palm pasta. The, the guy who invented this is a brilliant man. This is a life-changing thing. Heart to palm is the kind of thing you see at a salad bar. You usually like, you glaze over when you see it. At least I used to. But when it's turned into these like linguine shapes, this acts as like a spaghetti. And you don't have to do anything to prep it except drain it out of this lovely pouch and throw it in a skillet with a little bit of marinara, whatever you like. You can, I've used all kinds of sauces. I've used garlic, I eat it cold, I eat it hot. This is a must have. If you can still get it, I hear it's a little hard to come by. So name your favorite veggie if you have one. And you could win measuring spoons or a copy of Hungry Girl Simply Six. All right, moving on. Don't forget about this, by the way. This is a Green Giant Simply Steam, uh, this is a rice cauliflower green bean casserole that is to die for. If you can get your hands on this, please buy it. Okay. If you want the real thing and you're craving something that's slightly starchier than just veg, there are options. I like pastas that are made with actual pasta and also things like chickpeas. This is the Banza chickpea pasta. It's excellent. It's very, very good. What I like about this... Banza, it's loaded with protein. I mean loaded. I'm gonna show you something. I've got this giant, oops, it's hideous. I've got this giant container of Banza here. This is pre-cooked Banza. I will mix a few tablespoons of this in with a bowl of veggies, so you have like a combo situation of pasta and veggies. Ah, oh, perfect. Banza. Right rice, this is another thing. It's part veggies, mostly veggies. It's rice made from veggies, but also is very much like rice because there's a little bit of rice and there's rice consistency to it. So it's not just like cauliflower rice. Sometimes I keep a big container of right rice mixed with cauliflower rice. Then you have the best of all worlds. All of these things are meal starters and they totally work. And then of course you need your your lean protein, I'm not gonna go into all the lean proteins that I like because I do love chicken breast. I have some a filet in there that I'm gonna grill because I do like red meat. But the thing that I find myself eating the most during the quarantine happens to be tuna. If you were around, I made the corn tuna boats the other day. I love tuna salad, star kiss, can't go wrong, you, whatever kind of tuna you like. They also have these pouches of salmon creations and chicken creations and tuna creations that are flavored and you can eat them. I have to tell you, there's so much you can do with these. This is a really good idea for a snack. So this morning I made a tuna salad out of tuna with some pickles and I can't remember what else I added. Sometimes I add red onion, I add a little bit of whatever, some spices. And then I put it on like little Quaker, uh, what flavor was it? Sour cream and onion rice cakes. Phenomenal, truly. It's a great snack or a mini meal. You love this. Thank you, Jamie is putting Shop Hungry Girl Amazon Favorites. That is a very helpful link. So anyway, tuna, if you like tuna, send hearts. Tell me you love tuna. I do. I like tuna packed in water. It's low in calories, it's high in protein. It's easy, easy, easy. Another protein that I love, egg beaters or egg whites. I make my breakfast, I make egg mugs. One day I'm gonna show you how I make an egg mug. Couldn't be easier, you don't need a skillet. You just pour some of the egg beaters in, you throw a wedge of laughing cow or whatever light cheese of choice, vegetables, you throw it in the microwave, you stir, you cook it until it's done. It's like the easiest omelet in a mug. But egg beaters are also good for a lot of the other recipes that I make. I bake, I just, I, you know, I've been making mug cakes and it's just in almost everything. So try to get these. If you can't get egg beaters, you could use egg whites. You could take the whites, out of the regular egg. You can get a container of egg whites. There's a lot you can do. Okay, Are you, do you have a pen and paper? Are you writing this down? 
I hope you're writing this down. Are they writing this down? Yes, and breaking news, Simply Six is 50% off on, on Amazon. What? Wait, Simply Six is 50% off on Amazon. I just heard this. So in case you don't win the book, you can get it for half price on Amazon, which is a very good thing. You should see the pile of junk, I mean delicious food I have over there. Okay, now, another MVP ingredient, oats. I can't sing the praises of oats enough. So I've showed you how to make matcha overnight oats. I've made a bunch of oat parfaits. I've been making growing oatmeal for like, I don't know, a decade now. I can tell you what growing oatmeal is in case you don't remember. Oh, hi, John. I almost forgot to say hi to you. Thanks for watching. This is Dana's husband, John, not the usual John. All right, so oats, if you wanna make growing oatmeal, you're gonna use the regular amount of oats, which is a half cup, and use twice as much liquid. So you use two full cups of liquid, I think. Or is it, yeah, it's two, is it two cups of liquid? Anyway, you, whatever it says on the thing, I'm forgetting. You do twice as much liquid, you cook it for twice as long, and then you let it sit, and you let it thicken, and it grows and grows and grows, and then you have a giant oatmeal serving. But oats also can be used instead of flour. Let's say there's a recipe that calls for flour. You can put oats in a blender and make your own oat flour, and guess what, it works. But you could also bake with oats. I made cookies out of just oats and bananas the other day. I make pancakes out of oats and bananas or oats and bananas and egg whites. You just have to get creative, but this may be, may be the best, most important ingredient in the kitchen. I don't know, I say that, I'm an exaggerator. I say that in a lot of things, but oats are a must have. They're also super healthy. They're just very, 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 very good for you, very easy to use, and they, they're very comforting. So I feel like I'm saying so many damn words. <sighs> okay, now, I have to say, I have been talking about Almond Breeze, unsweetened vanilla almond milk, probably for at least 15 years. I don't know, since the day it came out. I don't know when it came out. Thank you for liking my shirt, people. Um, almond Breeze, unsweetened vanilla, hands down, the best bang for your milk calorie buck. No close second, honestly. 30 calories a cup, it is the creamiest. You don't miss, you don't need any of the sweetness because you can either sweeten whatever you're making yourself, you get the creamy factor, you could use this for smoothies, you could use this for lattes, you can use this in cereal. There's just, you could drink it straight. This is just the best. And you can get this, by the way, on Amazon, Instacart, whatever. It's shelf stable. You can get the fridge version, but I personally like the shelf stable version better. For whatever reason, if you agree with me, send hearts. I know some of you do. I keep probably like 10 to 15 of these in my pantry. I am like an almond milk hoarder. I'm not going to lie. And we use them. Lauren, have you not been making? We've been making yes. Delgona coffee. We go through so much almond milk, and I've tried it all. I have a billion different kinds. This is the one I always go back to, and I love it. I really, really, really love it. Again, for baking, cooking, straight up drinking, cereal, whatevs. All right, next item. Fat-free Greek yogurt. Fat-free Greek yogurt, honestly, another MVP in the kitchen. It's loaded with protein. You can eat it for breakfast. You can mix it. You could bake with it. You can make uh, dressings and dips with it. You can mix it with salsa for a great dip. You could eat it straight if you add a little bit of sweetener and some fruit. You could layer it into your oatmeal. I have so much yogurt in that fridge, it's scary. And it's just so good for you and so low in calories. And I can't say enough good things about it. If you agree with me, send hearts. Tell me what you use your yogurt for. I Is there love- a difference between the shelf staple milk? You know, I don't really know what the difference is between the shelf stable milk and the regular milk. I know that the shelf stable milk lasts for many months and it tastes as good if not better than the other milk. So I don't really know what the big difference is. It's a really good question. I never thought about it. Does anyone out there know? <clears throat> if so, no. speak your mind. All right. We are coming down to the wire with a few more ingredients left. This is powdered peanut butter. This is an unopened version of my powdered peanut butter. I, usually I have the giant tub of it. Powder, if every night when I talk about powdered peanut butter, people say, where do I get it? What do I do with it? How do I use it? You can get it on Amazon. You can get it at almost any supermarket. It's basically peanuts that have had the fat sucked out of them and they're turned into a flour. It's like a powder. This is a great baking kind of flour. 
It also is great if you just add a little bit of water and make the texture perfect. It's like a peanut butter spread, so it replaces peanut butter. It has a fraction of the fat and calories of peanut butter. So two tablespoons of this, 60 calories, hardly any fat at all, one and a half grams of fat. You can even mix it with regular peanut butter. A lot of times people say to me, hey Lisa, peanut butter's healthy, right? And I say, yes, it's healthy, but a lot of people overdo it. So if you have peanut butter, two tiny tablespoons, 200 calories, 18 grams of fat or more, that's just, it's a little much. So if you can mix your peanut butter with powdered peanut butter, you get the best of all worlds. I make this into pancakes, mug cakes, cake cakes, breads. Uh, I, I mix it up and I put it in a little pastry bag and I squeeze it into strawberries and add chocolate chips. Again, this will change your life, your family. Everybody will absolutely love powdered peanut butter. If you love powdered peanut butter, tell me. Say, hey Lisa, I love powdered peanut butter and here's what I do with it. And again, remember, if you comment, if you like, you will have a chance to win a copy of Hungry Girls Simply Six that I will sign with my name, not someone else's name. I will sign my name in the book, or you can win measuring spoons. All right, now, I think I'm out of words for the day. I mean, we should have word quotas that were like, once you say too many words, you can't speak anymore, so I'm almost out of words. My last um, items that I wanna speak of, fresh fruit. I couldn't live without fresh fruit, and I eat this stuff every day. I eat an orange every day, I eat an apple almost every day. I cook with these things, I eat them straight. I always have overripe bananas on hand. Look at this one. Are you jealous about how perfectly overripe this banana is? I know you are, because I can see all the hearts coming up. <laughs> Jenny just said, what are you making for dinner? Jenny, I'm not eating dinner after this because I ate earlier, but it's okay. And tonight I didn't have an interesting dinner, but tomorrow I'm gonna make something really, really good. So this um, overripe bananas, you can use, I think banana bread is like one of the most highly coveted and enjoyed foods of this whole quarantine. If you've made a banana bread, let me know. Because we have, yeah, you made one yesterday. Lauren made a vegan banana bread. And I have to say the banana bread she made was good, but it's not as good as the banana bread in Hungry Girl Simply Six. It's a blender banana bread that's a lot better, that has way fewer calories and does taste better, I'm not gonna lie. Um, but yes, overripe bananas. You can get bananas when they're green. In a few days, they'll be overripe. Whole fresh fruit, fantastic, really great. You need to keep that in your house. Now, I shared with you so many things today because I thought you might be thinking, oh, Lisa, I don't really have a lot of this stuff in my house. But today I shared so many things that I have to say that you have to have a lot of these things in your house, right? If you don't, you can get them on Instacart, you can get them on Amazon. Jamie posted a link to our page where you can order things. Um, Kevin, yes, perfect for pumpkin bread with bananas. Exactly, exactly. All right, guys, do you have questions about anything? Because I am here, I'm happy to answer them. Because what are you doing tonight? This is what I'm doing tonight. I'm staying home. Are you staying home? I am. Maybe I'll watch a movie. Any questions coming in? Let me know if you want to win the book. Everybody loves peanut butter powder in their smoothies. Okay, keep talking. You can win the spoons or the book. And I hope that you find this stuff helpful. Also, you can let me know what you want me to make. I'm, I think I'm going to make an oat bacon a mug. I'm going to make some kind of cannoli dessert. I'm going to do a cocktail for Cinco de Mayo. I have um, some like a brunch thing coming up this weekend. So. You will see more of me and I will be making things. But let me know if you like this type of interaction or you really like it better when I make something and I demo something because I can do both or I can stick with just demoing or I can share with you more of my food finds. Happy to do, Would you do any and all. Bread? Would I make the banana bread? Maybe, I might. You know, I've been making things that I don't tend to have to bake, but I would maybe make the banana bread or some kind of blender muffin situation. What do you think? Yeah. All right. All right, now I'm just reading your comments. You're on, oh, they're on the Amazon favorites. You should definitely check out the Amazon favorites. You should sign up for Hungry Girl Daily Emails. If you don't get the daily emails, you're really missing out. That is the heart and soul, the bread and light butter of what we do every single day, Monday to Friday. You could listen to the podcast that comes out on Wednesdays. You could tune in for these videos. I wanna be here for you. I wanna help you make smart food choices 
and give you tips and hacks and tricks and prizes. So that's what I do. All right. And I love you guys and I appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. And I think I'm going to go now because that about wraps it up. Right. And then we have to feed the dogs. I'm going to also have to put all this food away because it's just out on the counter. All right. I'm going to go. I'll see you over the weekend. I'm Lisa Lillian, also known as Hungry Girl. Till next time, chew the right thing.